Hello guys, my name is Michael and welcome to the very first GTK4 tutorial. I was thinking a lot how should I start, how should I uh, proceed with uh, GTK4, so I was thinking then I wasn't introducing GTK3, the GTK application, even if I had or I should have uh, um, provide information about it, but uh, I was sticking to the GTK window and uh, we didn't actually talk about it. GTK application window, it is also um, uh, it is also um, inherited from the GTK window. Now, the important thing which you need to know, it is that there are some changes uh, between GTK3 and GTK4 uh, where in GTK3, if you go back to object hierarchy, you will see that GTK application uh, it is uh, derived from um, GTK window and then from GTK bin, GTK container, and so on. And well, all these changes uh, you will notice them in a second when we go to GTK4 a little bit right now. Now, object hierarchy, as you can see, we have now only GTK window which there is from GTK window as well, but GTK window itself. It doesn't um, uh, derive anymore from uh, GTK bin or GTK container or both of them, so, which means uh, the changes now are quite interesting uh, because now, guys, every widget uh, has its own window, which is a very good thing, and uh, you will see uh, how you can uh, uh, take a profit from this information. Anyway, the GTK application window is, it is a GTK window subclass that offers some extra functionality for better integration with GTK application um, features. You will see notably is uh, um, notably it can handle an application menu bar. We will see. This class implements the G-Action group, G-Action map interfaces to let you add window specific action that will be exported by the associated GTK application and so on. You can um, uh, read all this uh, information which I'm strongly suggesting that you do it and once that you're done with it then we can proceed. Um, here you will see it is an uh, example which it is used uh, using GTK Builder. I'm not a fan of GTK Builder. I will provide uh, information about GTK Builder as well. I'm, well. I'm going to make a playlist but me I'm not going to use uh, in my uh, tutorials uh, GTK Builder at all because I don't like it. Anyway, that's another story. So let's see the first function here, which is important for us. Let me close the GTK3 because we don't need it. It is uh, a function which returns uh, a pointer to a GTK widget. As you can see, it's pointing to the location of what returns this function, and basically we can create a window with this information. How the program flow works? Well, you will have to check the GTK application uh, as well. If you need uh, more explanations, I'm not going to talk too much about GTK application right now because you will have to check the GTK application uh, um, playlist and uh, of course the GTK uh, the G application as well, which will be also introduce it to you. So I'm going to create a new project, console application, C, and now here I'm going to say GTK, um, GTK, uh, no, like that, like this, right now, application window. So we are going to create it. It is very important for you guys that uh, before you move on with uh, this, um, with uh, this um, video that you first start with uh, installing GTK4 because if you want to work with GTK4 you not know how to install it so please go in the GTK4 playlist and watch how you get installed and of course uh, how you set your code loss to work with GTK4 as well. Okay, the first changes which we need to do which we are not going to talk too much it is uh, it will be later explained. We are not going to pass any argument right now. Later we will do it. So the first thing first, we need to declare a GTK application. GTK. Oh yes, sorry guys. First things first, we need to 
include the GTK library because without the GTK library we cannot actually work, isn't it? So now that we have it, uh, let me compile it a little bit. Okay, now that we have it, we can actually start with uh, creating our first application. And for this, we need to, to call GTK application uh, new, which uh, we are not going to talk right now too much. Okay, uh, yes, we need uh, also a status for the return. Okay. Now, basically, we need to point our application pointer to the memory location of GTK application new, which, uh, like I said, we are not going to talk too much now. This is my first app. Basically, this is the first. Uh, um, the first um, argument which we will pass will be the uh, application data I will talk about this like I said in another uh, playlist where the GTK application will be introduced to you and the second one will be the G application flags in this case uh, we are not going to use some of them so G application flags none will be used because no flags, no flags at all and of course, the next thing which uh, we are going to need, uh, we need is to, to point the status to the G application run, where it will be our G application pass it as the first one, the GTK application, and the second one will be also the arguments from the main. But in this case, because we are not using at all we are going to pass false and null for the first and for the second uh, argument of the main but we didn't because we have void so basically we have nothing so pass right here now let me compile it around for a second okay here we have two commas which is not quite what we need and we compile it around again and yes as you can see you will understand this at the point when you will follow the GTK4 because I didn't quite find a very good uh, way to f to point our GTK uh, our code blocks to this library if you find something please let me uh, know as well but until then you will have every project you you work with that uh, you go on inside your manager and management and then uh, select your um, your um, project name like in my case uh, I call it a GTK application window which we were creating in and go to build option and here you have to go to link uh, add and of course you need to go to home user libraries right and then you need to go right down here and select all files so that you can reveal this one right here leave gtk4 and so on yes okay now the next thing which you need you need to go to search director link as well and here you need to point it to two uh, different uh, folders which they also leave the first one it is the your name usr live or lib and the second one will be also there but inside it so usr lib and the uh, x uh, 68 uh, 80, 86 64 sorry now that you did that you can go on uh, press ok reboil and now at this point when you build it and run it it is working but it says your application does not implement the application activate or it is not connect to a, any signal so we need to do that thing as all which means uh, g signal connect will be called the instance will be of course our application and then the signal will be the activate like I said we are not going to talk right now ab about uh, this one the G callback will be activate as well and of course the last one it will be null because we are not passing something right now now let us create the activate 
because this is the first first thing which we need before we proceed our, with our GTK application. So static void activate and here of course we need to pass the GTK application um, uh, and then the G pointer data as well. Now here inside it basically we can start to work with our first um, function which is called GTK application window new. As you can see we need to declare a GTK uh, widget pointer which we are going to call it of course window. Now the next thing which we need we basically need to uh, point it to of course to the window to a GTK uh, application window new right here. And as you can see we need to pass our application which is uh, what basically we are passing right here with the help of gsignal connect and then after we need uh, there is a very very important thing guys I will show you in a second let me let me um, uh, how is that uh, uh, you know what no I'm going to cast it just to void Okay, now the next thing which I'm going to do, I'm going to cast also the window call for a second because this is the first thing which you need to understand which is different from from um, GTK3 because in GTK4 every possible widget it is now it, uh, set to true, uh, its property show uh, it's set to true which means uh, you don't need to call GTK show anymore uh, a GTK widget show anymore in uh, GTK4 except for the top level windows you will see now I'm going to compile it and run it not rebuild uh, void yes because I didn't say why what void data so let me show you I'm compiling and running it and now I have another let me see where the next problem is I'm going to close the management because I don't need it and uh, now we are going to check where, where exactly is the first problem other leaks argument of G signal connect okay so let's see uh, yes it is missing the coma right here let me compile it around again and as you can see our program works fine but we have no window why we not we have no window if the in GTK for every widget it is uh, shown by default because this is the s story for every widget except top level windows for this you have two options you, you still can call GTK because the function is still uh, uh, there GTK widget show you see in you have it the GTK widget show all it's gone anyway and here once that uh, you do that you basically call the window or you best said you pass the window and now at this point you see the windows it is presented to to your screen or you can call the newly or uh, best said the, the, the other function which uh, uh, you should probably use it called gtk window window present and then of course you need to cast your gtk window to gtk window and now at this point at this point uh, let me introduce you a little bit this function right now so that you understand it uh, GTK3, GTK3, GTK4 right here and let me search it a little bit where are you? Where? let me go back destroy title display activate full screen focus Right, right here. So basically, we have two two kind of windows. The first one is GTK window present, and other obviously with the time. I'm not going to talk about them right now because uh, this will be in the GTK window uh, playlist. But presents a window to the user. This function should not be used as when it is called. It is too late to get a valid time step to allow focus stealing prevention for to work correctly. So uh, this is another story. We're going to talk in the GTK window. Um, uh, playlist. So now, because uh, we don't need the GTK show anymore, I'm going to drop it right now. 
uh, if we now compile our program then guys uh, this is your first GTK application window uh, program uh, which uh, you manage to create it now I'm going to stop here because uh, it takes too much time uh, for a video and I will try to make them smaller in the future but the important thing is that uh, we are going to concentrate ourselves only in the GTK window uh, application window in this playlist that being said thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys